have never been so excited in my life to get my period. <laughs> Honestly, so excited. And I never thought I'd hear this day where I would say, I'm excited for Aunt Flo's arrival. I can't believe I just called it Aunt Flo. Um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Carissa and my husband and myself have been trying for a baby for almost a year and a half now. So it's currently May 2022. In June last year, we did have a pregnancy. Um, unfortunately, it did not make it through. And since then, we have not had luck at all. Um, so now that I've said that, you're probably wondering why you're so excited to get your period. Um, well, in February this year, we finally went and saw a fertility specialist and he wanted to get us onto Clomid. So basically at the start of my next cycle, when I got my period next, he wanted me to phone them up and let them know I've got my period. And they wanted me to start on Clomid, which was going to make my body ovulate at a certain time so they could kind of control the situation and um, proceed with the trying, I guess, again. As I said at the start, it is now May. A lot of things have happened in between then. If you're interested in finding out the other things that have happened in between then, I do have another video that you can go and watch. But we are now finally at the stage, I'm so excited, where we can officially start trying with a fertility specialist. My excitement is so real. And I do know, I do know that, um, just because we are starting our first cycle, it doesn't mean we're going to get pregnant in the first go. It definitely may take a few goes. Clomid may not actually end up being working for us, or it may not work for us, sorry. But I'm just excited to be able to start trying. Oh, wow, here we go again. I'm not gonna cry, I'm getting my period. That's just, <laughs> no. Um, so it is, 8 13 in the morning right now i did start getting spotting last night so i knew today was going to happen and then i woke up today and i'm like yes i'm bleeding <laughs> so i need to ring up the clinic or i need to ring up the specialist story this morning they're not open until nine so it's literally a waiting game right now but i'm so excited guys i am so freaking excited let's start this journey now <sighs> Um, I think today's day one. Yesterday I had the spotting and then this morning I've woken up late with my period. <laughs> Excellent. The only thing I want to quickly touch base with you is regarding that rubella vaccination. Yep. Did you end up getting that done? I did. I got it. So I might just quickly touch base with and then give you a ring back to see if we can start you on this cycle, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. So that's annoying. <laughs> Um, basically the gist of that phone call was her checking to see when I had my rubella vaccine top up because if you watched the last video, I had to get my rubella vaccine topped up last cycle, which is why we didn't do last month's first trial for Clomid. And I got that on the 13th of April. It's now the 10th of May and most doctors like to have like a four week gap between the cycles and everything. So I'm like three days away from being four weeks, but then apparently the specialist likes to be four to eight weeks in between. So, oh, she's going to find out from him if he like what his thoughts are on that and then she's going to get back to me. I low-key think they should be fine with this, like if normal GPs are, and literally when they told me that I could choose to either get the rubella vaccine or proceed last month, they're just like, you'll just be missing this cycle. So hopefully she rings back and it's all good. But I guess like, you know, if not, like it's the best decision. Help is moving forward. This is so much. Ugh, why can't it just be easy? Like, why do some people just get pregnant like that? And then... We have to do this through all of the steps and all of the ways, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Yep. Okay. I'll touch base with you once she rings back and hopefully it's good news. So I had a little cry. They haven't rung back yet, but <sighs> why does this phone call have to be done when I'm on my period? <laughs> I'm like over emotional as it is, but I'm low key. I'm not like stressed or angry. I'm just like because literally last month when I rang them up and I was like hey I'm on day one of my cycle and they're like yep everything's fine good to go ahead just letting you know your rubella vaccine is 
still in your system, like you've still got antibodies for it, um, but it is on the lower end of being still in you. So they, like said, you know, they'd advise to get a top up. Um, but if I chose not to, I could still proceed with last month. I just had to sign a waiver and Craig and I were just like, no, nah, let's just get the vaccine top up. And they're like, that's cool. That's fine. It would only be this cycle, like last month, um, that that will affect. And now to ring them up again and they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to have to call you back because you might actually have to miss another cycle despite what we talked to you last month. And then um, Craig got a phone call from them the other week because he got like his blood results back and he questioned like, you know, is everything all good to go ahead? And they're like, yep, we're just um, waiting for your wife to start her cycle and then we can proceed. So it's like they... They told him everything was good to go, so obviously when I got my period and they've told him, like, we're fine, we're going to go ahead this cycle. And then now, like, I know it's just, um, it's not just, it's it's the nurse saying it, so she hasn't spoken to the specialist yet, but it's like, far out, this is... I just thought it was starting. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, she's probably going to ring back, and well, I'll find out, like, in 10 minutes, I am probably getting emotional for nothing, but... This is a long journey. Yeah. Anyway, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. She calls back soon and it's like, yup, it's sweet. I think if she tells me to wait a month again, I probably will cry. Yeah, I definitely will. <laughs> okay, is there anything else we need to do or test? But yeah, no, everything. I agree things up to date. Your comments on the come back fine. So you're all good to go once you get your period next cycle. Okay, um, is this going to change, I guess, the plan for our cycle? Because I know he only wanted to have us on Clomid short term and then possibly go down, I think, maybe IVF route just because of our age group and the, um, I think we were trying for possibly two kids if we could. Yeah, no, it still would be fine. He'd still probably recommend going through for three, um, Clomid cycles. All right, cool. Um, and then just, I uh, would, could you just send us back a, um, could you just send us back a evidence of the rubella vaccine? Um, just the date of it, or? Yeah, or actually, if you're happy, I can actually just send you for a rubella check, if, if that's okay, just a blood test to see how your levels are doing in two weeks. Yeah, that's fine. Bye. So over this and it hasn't even started. <sighs> so we're not trying this cycle. <laughs> Have to wait another cycle. Um I wish, my biggest frustration right now, I just, I feel like it's so unorganized. Like, why last cycle when they told me that I should get my rubella um, booster? Why, weren't, why wasn't I wrong two weeks before I rang up saying, hey, just letting you know I've started my cycle. They had all that information. Why didn't they ring me and tell me the situation before day one? And why did they tell me it's only one cycle I'm going to have to miss? It's two cycles. And my cycles are like 50 days. That's like 100 days. Like... <sighs> and then Craig, they rang him up the other day and said they were good to proceed. It's like, you weren't. I need some chocolate. It is now later in the afternoon. I look like I've been crying all day. I haven't. But one of my friends did bring up a good point and she's like, you know, being stressed whilst trying as well is not ideal. So maybe you actually, like, maybe I need to 
talk to the specialist and kind of voice my concerns with how a lot of things haven't like communication could be better and share how I've been feeling throughout this whole process because we literally haven't even started the process with them and already it's been very disorganized from their end like I said like Craig literally got phoned from them last week and they're like yeah we're good to proceed we're just waiting for her to get a period and then for this to happen it's like do you not read your own notes like why would you tell us you're ready to proceed and then today oh I get told sorry you have to wait another cycle again I don't know, like I shouldn't be stressed about going to a fertility specialist I should be stressed about I guess the conceiving and the fertility issues not having to chase up everyone else to kind of keep me and um, my husband informed so I don't know if I'm just gonna end I might end this vlog here I feel like there's gonna be nothing that happens between now and um, the next cycle hopefully next cycle when I ring up that is all of the stuff that needs to be done it's all been done um, hopefully like what she said on the phone that's it <laughs> I do have to go to get a blood test next week so they can check the rubella levels in my body now to make sure I guess that the vaccine that I literally got did its job I don't know honestly I didn't really pay too much attention as soon as she was like yeah we have to skip this cycle I kind of was like trying not to cry on the phone Craig's coming home I think he knows I'm a little bit like I'm very disappointed I'm disappointed in how this is all going I guess I'm disappointed the fact that we've had to go to a specialist I'm disappointed that the specialist seems to be a little bit he's fine but his staff I find are a little bit unorganized and I'm disappointed that this is another thing that I'm having to stress about on top of already stressing about the fact that we've been struggling to conceive naturally I think I just need to cry it out I think today it's gonna be fine to just cry and then tomorrow is a new day I need to focus on that tomorrow and yeah but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and then I'll start next month's cycle as a new vlog so hopefully it's happier next time sorry for crying guys